There is no doubt that 2021 has reinforced what an important time it is to serve in our Navy. Reflecting on the year that has been, I couldn't be more proud of what we have collectively achieved as a team. We have maintained a high tempo of core business that is making a difference in our region, from our op resolute commitments to the presence in the Indo-Pacific and Southwest Pacific as key examples. We have well and truly delivered on our core business, including strengthening our regional relationships and helping maintain regional stability and security despite a global pandemic. I am proud that we have achieved this despite not being able to step ashore in either international or domestic ports for major parts of the year. This has required great resilience, strong mindsets and has brought to the fore the meaning of teamwork and leadership for our Navy. Navy's core business will continue through the reduced staffing period. Every Christmas we have boats at sea, away from their families, contributing to Australia's border operations. I specifically acknowledge the crews of HMAS ships Albany, Ararat, Bathurst, Launceston, as well as Cape Inscription and Ocean Protector, who are on patrol over the break. In addition, I thank all our Navy personnel who will be on watch, keeping duties or on notice to move across the nation over the holiday period. Our service doesn't stop with the beginning of the RSP. Our work is important and your contribution and commitment is noted and appreciated. The opportunities that Navy has been afforded this year has been diverse. Our contribution to the bushfire support and recovery, flood assistance and the response to the COVID pandemic has seen our people serve in areas of Australia amongst communities that we would never usually find ourselves alongside. I have heard amazing stories about how Navy people have helped and supported fellow Australians and created relationships in areas we can't take a ship. This has proven valuable in raising the profile of Navy and our contribution to the nation to a broader range of Australians. This increased community awareness of what we are and what we do is important as we compete for the talented Australians we need to grow our Navy over the coming years. I encourage you to continue fostering these relationships so we can continue to build our Navy story. As we move into 2022, we can be optimistic. The new Navy capabilities coming online are not only exciting, but clearly demonstrate the importance of what we do. The commissioning of HMA ships supply and store, the decommissioning of Piri, Mermaid, Paluma and Sirius, along with the launch of OPV Arafura this year alone, are clear indicators that we are a Navy in transition. There are opportunities for us to build on our skills, innovate and deliver services in an increasingly dynamic environment. Our contribution to important work in the region and serving the Australian community is something to be very proud of, particularly after a year of such achievement, adversity and surprise. I encourage you to speak proudly of your Navy service during your leave and downtime. Closing the gap and explaining the why of what we do is a good thing. You have so much to be proud of individually, and we have every reason to be proud as a collective. Thank you for delivering all that we've asked of you in 2021. Celebrate your achievements over the festive season with your family and friends, and have a safe and relaxing break. Merry Christmas.